Hello friends, hope you are studying well and welcome back to my channel. In the series of syndromes of head and neck, today we'll be talking about Gardner syndrome. But before going ahead, can I please ask you to subscribe to this channel? Because my analysis of this channel, they show that 66% of the viewers, they have not subscribed. So if you have not sus subscribed to it, please do subscribe to this channel and give it thumbs up if you really like the video. Let's go ahead and dive into the Gardner syndrome. Gardner syndrome. The first word which comes in mind is garden. So whenever you think of Gardner syndrome, you think of garden and what happens in garden is everything blooms, everything grows up. So this autosomal dominant inherited syndrome has the lesions which are overgrowths. For example, overgrowth of bone causing osteomas, overgrowth of large intestine tissue causing polyps of large intestine, and overgrowth of skin causing epidermoid cysts and fibromas. So these three triad, these three things means the, this triad of multiple osteomas, multiple polyps of large intestine and epidermoid cysts and fibromas of skin these comprise Gardner syndrome. It's very important syndrome from exam point of view and a lot of questions they come in all the dental exams. Another important thing as a dentist you need to know is supernumerary teeth may also be seen in this. So hyperodontia is concerned, is associated with this syndrome. So I'm not going into detail because I'm keeping it exam oriented and these are important things which you really need to know for your exam. Thank you so much, guys. Keep watching. Stay tuned. Good luck.